Hi everyone, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. So this is a little bit of a different video. My daughter's actually sitting beside me uh, teaching me how to do this. Um, I wanted to give everyone a quick look at how I inventory my wax. So I inventory my wax on um, Excel, using Excel and I have this tech, this workbook that's full of several different worksheets. I have a different worksheet for each vendor. Um, and then I do have a worksheet that says random that has a lot of different vendors on it that I only have a very small amount of wax. So what I've done is, this is my Bath and Body Works sheet. So I've listed all the different scents I have here in column A, and I have sorted it alphabetically. Then I've made a column for the different types of wax I have in each scent. So I have three wick candles, I have single wick candles. I put the amount that I have in each space and then scrolling down, the each column automatically sums and then the individual columns sum for a total of the sheet to the right. Now on this particular worksheet, um, at one time I was going to also be able to sort by fall, winter, fresh, bakery. And I haven't went very far with that yet. It might be something I work on in 2023. I also have a column for performance. And if it's something that I really like, I will highlight it in gold and put repurchase. Now, I'm going to go through some of my other sheets too, and you'll see that they're not all uniform. And that's something else that I would like to do in 2023. You know, when I first started this, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted for each vendor. So some of them have some different columns that not all the others have. Um, so let's see, something else that I want to add, I think in 2023, I wanna add a column for poor date or uh, the date receipt. You know, when I first started vendor wax, that didn't mean a lot to me. Now, having the amount that I have, I know that that's something that I really need. Um, I do have my wax label, but I don't have it incorporated in my spreadsheet. So, yeah, I can do, you know, when you use Excel, you can do all kinds of things. So, if I wanted, you know, to find everything in this Bath and Body Works a sheet that had, you know, Apple in the title, I could come over here and sort by Apple, um, it would be really handy if I had all of the scent notes in the spreadsheet for each candle. And then it would also pull up any candle that had Apple in it as a scent note, even if it wasn't in the title. And if I get hours and hours and hours and hours of free time in my life, I might go ahead and add scent notes. I don't know. I don't know if that'll be something that I do. So uh, the next one is a spreadsheet for Savannah Blue Wax. You can see same thing. I have all my scents listed. Um, for Savannah Blue, I have samples, I have souffles, and I have loaves. And some of my Savannah Blue, I have listed uh, scent notes. Um, some I didn't. Like I said, I am a novice at Excel. I really am. It is definitely... Uh, a good learning experience for me. I've actually really upped my Excel skills by doing this spreadsheet because there's been a couple of times I didn't know how to do something. And so I Googled it and I learned and it, it helps with work. Plus I did have an error. I know I talked about this in a video. I had an error on my L3 page. I don't know what I did, but here's my L3 page. And it is a really big sheet, but somehow I had over 100,000 rows. I don't know how I got that many rows in the spreadsheet because I really only needed, well, this one's got a lot. I really only needed 329 and I had over like 100,000 or something. So I emailed this to a friend of mine who's really good with Excel and she figured it out. So I've got a lot of cleanup to do on this L3 sheet because for quite a while, it wouldn't let me enter any more rows. So what I did is I came over here and I kind of started over and added the columns again. And I have another row of uh, my scents. 
So I want to, when I get some more free time, I'm going to take all of this over here and just incorporate it back into this side. So I have one, um, one really nice sheet instead of it really kind of goofy like this. Um, but I have added things like, you know, performance notes by YouTubers. So something must have been going on one day when I was in the spreadsheet and I decided that I was going to maybe, when I saw one of uh, the reviewers say something about a scent, I could go in and I could plug that in. So L3 has lots of different uh, variations of wax, the small loaves or the, the bitty, bitty loaves, the samples, the trig tarts, bougie bars, souffles, scoopable wax, which I don't think that L3 has souffles, do they? I don't know why I put that in there. Um, puppy packs, you know what I mean. So, um, so yeah, this is my spreadsheet. Like I said, again, it's a work in progress, but you can do so much with Excel with sorting and, and just adding up all your columns. So you always know what you have. So when I use something, that's the other thing I want to show you. I will go into the specific vendor's sheet. I will gray out the scent and I will change it to zero. Now, like on this banana cream pie, if I only use one, I will come up here. I will change this to a one. And if you look down here at the bottom where it says three, it changed that to two automatically for me. And then it changes over here for the total of my sheet as well. So there's so many things you can do with Excel and probably, well, I know so much more than what I'm actually doing there. It, it's amazing what it will do. Like I said, I'm a novice and um, I am getting better. But. So that is all I have for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have kind of have an idea. Oh, I just clicked on another one. And this specific sheet, I did write when I got the wax. So that particular day, I was doing that. Can't explain it, guys. Don't know why I do some of the things I do and then don't do it for others. But you can see as I'm scrolling across the bottom, I have a lot, a lot of vendors that I have wax from. And I even at one time made a master scent list or a master list for vendors. I haven't kept up on that. So that's not been good. And the other day, I made a sheet for Scentsy melters and mixers. So I've got a sheet here of what some people have given me ideas for different um, melters and mixers. So, okay, well, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope you have a pretty good idea now of when I say I have to inventory my wax. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this gives you maybe some ideas um, that you can do for yourself. So thanks for stopping by and I will see everybody later. Thank you.